Oh, once again, I have started a craft without videotaping. And normally I just go ahead and finish it and go on about my day. But I figured I'll stop in the middle of this and show you what I'm doing. I'm cutting two different signs. I do have a, uh, a booth at a craft fair in June. So I've been working trying to get some things done up. And that's what I cut out on my cameo. I've got it cut out here. I'm in the process of painting my boards. And I just used the uh, Waverly ink on this and I'll do that all over and then I'll paint the front of it the plaster color. And then I'll apply the stencil that I have cut out, which is that. So, as I progress, I'll try to remember to come back on and show you what I'm doing. I forgot to mention uh, the design that I used here. Uh, I did myself. I used the skinny font, and I got that off to font.com. And then on the star, I just went into to my library and typed in star, and I found a star that I had on my computer right there. And kind of hard to see. Let me turn these a color so you can see what I'm doing. Turn them black. Anyways, I right clicked and I ungrouped them and I took out the one I wanted and done away with the rest and resized what I wanted and everything. And that's the star that I put in between there. Forgot to mention this to you and let you know. So I did get the skinny font off defont.com. Can you believe that? That's a dead turtle. And it like to scare the out of me. I saw my husband come back in here and I thought, well, he must be looking for something. I don't know what he'd be doing here in my craft room. And I went on about my business, come back in here, and now I know what the little stinker was doing. Putting a dead turtle on my table. Okay, I got my stencil on there. I need to pull this here off and then I'll start stenciling. Okay, I have it finished. And that's how it turned out. And I, I have one for myself and I keep it over my kitchen cabinets or over my kitchen sink on, over the cabinets. If I could get a shot of it, I'd show you, but I don't know the sun coming in that window. There's where I keep mine. So. I have this one ready now for the show. And I'll probably, I need to probably make one for the mercantile in town. Okay, I think I'm going to start on this next. I had this piece of uh, cedar out there. And I took it and rounded all the edges off. And I need some feet, so I'm thinking... 
taken these, I'm thinking I'll take these spindles and cut them in two for the feet. I think that'd be about the right height. So I'm gonna go out to my uh, miter saw and cut those in half, because I do have enough to make a set of them. I have enough to make another set if I need them. Okay. This is just stuff I've had that I tore apart a reproduction of a, you know, wash basin. And they threw it out, so I brought it home and tore it apart. All right, I took it outside and I sanded it down real good. And now I've got to figure out what color I'm going to paint it. When I told my husband that, he said, paint it? Why are you going to paint it? Because he doesn't believe in cedar being painted. He puts polyacrylic on it or something and he brings the color out in it. Well, I said, well, I don't know. It's going to a craft show and I don't think that would probably go over real big. I have one small riser I left plain, but I'm gonna paint this one. Okay, I decided to paint, paint it all black. I used the Waverly ink and then I'm gonna do the top in the Waverly plaster and then I'll just stress it. And I think I'm just gonna leave the legs black. All right, guys, this is the last thing I made and I've lost my um, footage on it. I've, I don't know if I deleted it or when I downloaded some other files, I stuck it back in a file, but I've searched everywhere and I can't find it. And it's, it's similar to the one, I bought this one at a thrift store. It didn't have this on it. It had like a dark green background and something else was on it. And it was all dusty and grimy and dirty. And I took it and cleaned it up and just painted the white background and went into Silhouette Software and picked out my font, cut it out, and put it on there. And you can even see where I made a mistake, but I don't care because I leave it set and I put the sawtooth. I didn't put the sawtooth. It was already there. I painted it the wrong way. But should I ever want to hang it, I can, I can fix that. But I decided to make one for the craft fair that I'm going to and because I have some strips of wood. So I just uh, cut me out a little thin piece of board and took the strips of wood. I didn't even nail this. I just glued it, I think, with the E6000 and let it set up. And then did this, the same thing on the inside of this. I did distress this one a little bit, though. The other one's not distressed. But that was my last project, and I wanted to show it to you, even though I didn't get the process of it. I've tried to explain it, and I think it's easiest, easy enough that you can figure it out. So, until the next one, we'll see you later.